All right, hi, Scorpio. This is going to be your reading. This is for Scorpio placements, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Take what resonates and leave what does not. Uh, be sure to flip the script and choose which side of the story you are on. Um, if you're cross-watching for a Scorpio, this could play out from your point of view, as in the Scorpio was doing this to you instead, okay? So just give me a minute. Scorpio let's see here what's going on for Scorpio placements so we got ascending transcending obstacles learning expansion new phase preparing for union okay so some of you guys could be going through some type of ascension process here okay um what else overcoming obstacles we got Cupid's arrow have faith love is coming surprise invitation or meeting hesitation so yeah i feel like some of y'all are coming out of something that could have been a bit because normally when ascensions happen is usually after something catastrophic or something hurtful so you could be coming out of that um ooh, twin flame so some of y'all could have been dealing with a false twin for some of you okay um one more for scorpio but there's love coming whether you're single or not something is coming and we have mirror mirroring each other self-image relationships reflect our wounds introspection so somebody may be not wanting somebody could be reluctant to look at themselves or to see the part that they played in something this is you or this is your person or somebody that they were dealing with okay but we'll see and we have hammer sagittarius just had this so you could be dealing with a sag or have sag as your moon rising or venus Check out Sagittarius. Um, we have Sabotage, or you could be a Sag with Scorpio placements, your moon rising or Venus sign, okay? Sabotage, rebuilding, integration, repetitive, persistent, working on it. So there's something that could be being rebuilt or worked on, whether within yourself or with another person, all right? But let's get this, let's ascending here. So Ten of Cups. So this could be somebody that you have kids with. This could be a blended family situation. Yeah, there could be a second chance at something or forgiveness that's needed. This could be stuff even regards to your childhood. Okay, some of you guys could be getting prepared to start your own family, making a, a, a dream a reality. Okay, for some of you guys could be going into a new phase. Yeah, you're becoming parents or you're adding new additions to the family or you, at least you're getting prepared for this. Okay, what's ascending? Yeah, the uh, hero in reverse. So I know, I'm not taking that. I didn't like how that felt. Ascending. Okay, well, five of wands, uh, Saturn and Leo. So yeah, this is, a, so the fives is, this is like petty drama. This could be conflict, whether it's conflict external to you or within yourself. Okay, you could be, this could be fights amongst family members or maybe somebody that you have kids with here. This is somebody here that could be a bit witty, but they can also be a bit impulsive and aggressive at times, really blunt and kind of like brute, all right? But the five of wands, this could be about jealousy, envy, um, pettiness, petty arguments, just it's petty. The fives are the lowest and pettiest energy out of the deck. So, yeah. So, yeah, what's the, what's the sending? Yeah, Ace of Cups here. So there could be, I'm getting pregnancy here. So this could be like a baby shower or a gender reveal here. Uh, this could be new love as well for some of you guys, okay? Right? Three of Cups, Mercury and Cancer. This could be a reconciliation or just getting out, having fun. You may meet somebody at a party or through a friend, okay? Or somebody may bring a friend for a friend, you know, something like that. Yeah, Two of Cups, Venus and Cancer. Uh... What's the Ten of Cups here? Yeah, Eight of Swords here. Okay, Ju Okay, so here we go. It takes a turn. <laughs> um, since we know when we get to the details, we peel back the layers. This is, you know, this gets interesting. So Eight of Swords here, Jupiter and Gemini energy. So there could be somebody here that feels stuck to a family situation or a family dynamic here. Okay, the Eight of Swords is somebody having their hands tied or their hands full. But this is somebody is not actually trapped. This is there. Somebody's mentally keeping. Somebody's mentally keeping themselves trapped in a situation here. Maybe somebody got caught up in the fantasy of something, but the reality is very different. What's the Eight of Swords here? 
yeah, the star in reverse, Aquarius energy. Somebody here could be like sick or not really being. Somebody could be in a situation where they can't really be themselves. Maybe somebody wants to come out to their family about their sexuality or about something and maybe they fear that. Okay, eight of cups here. Yeah, something, somebody's walking towards something or away from something. Somebody's walking into the unknown. Somebody could be in a dark place right now. I'm getting to. This star could be a lack of hope, a lack of inspiration, a bad omen. Somebody may, somebody could even be lacking direction in life. I'm also getting there's somebody that's not on, somebody is not operating from their north node and they need to. So in order for somebody to ascend and overcome these obstacles, because somebody here could be avoiding a lesson or just not learning from something that they need to to prepare for this union here, whatever union that is. Star in reverse. Yeah, the, the Knight of Swords here, Gemini, um, Taurus, Cusp Energy. So definitely go check out Taurus's reading. Even if you're not dealing with the Taurus or don't have it in your chart, you could be dealing with somebody that does. And if not, because like I told Sag, because Taurus is your sister sign, aka your opposite sign, definitely go check out Taurus's reading. But the Knight of Swords is a change here. This is about an opportunity. This is fast, quick communication. All right. Yeah, I feel like something is something changed really fast. Like maybe there was, a, maybe things was a happy home where everything was peachy, and then somebody could have got caught up in their head about something or whatever, and then they just I don't know. What's this nine of swords about? Yeah, the queen of swords in reverse. This bitch has been showing up in fucking reverse in all the readings. And all the fucking readings. This is air sign energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but in particular, this is for uh, Libra and Virgo. I heard Scorpio, so this could be you, or maybe y'all are dealing with another Scorpio or somebody that has Scorpio in your chart as well. But the Queen of Swords in reverse is a bitter ass bitch, man or woman. Somebody that's very impulsive with their words, manipulative. This person, I feel like this is somebody here that is fake, they're phony. Somebody here could be regressing a lot. Somebody may need to do some childhood regression therapy or some type of childhood therapy. The queen of this could be somebody's mother that's fucking bitter and, and doesn't want somebody to like kind of, I don't know, have their own family or whatever the fuck this is. But the queen of swords in reverse is she's just very cutting with her words. Him, or, a man or woman, this this person has this person could be oppressive, or they suppress a lot of their emotions and feelings. Somebody's also draining. Something is draining somebody's energy as well, really fast. What's this queen of swords in reverse? That can also be like bitterness, resentment. Some of you guys have resentment or bitterness towards someone. Yeah, Ace of Swords here. So I'm getting, again, like we said earlier, you're dealing with somebody that's very brutally, like, brute, honest, a bit harsh with their words. Somebody that's a bit cutthroat, or this is you, but the Ace of Swords is about truth. It's about clarity. I feel like some of you guys could be discerning, but maybe you're in this space of being hyper- Hype like you're reading in between every line. You're you're looking in between everything. You could be assuming the worst, or I don't know. Maybe you were raised by somebody like that for some of you. But the Ace of Swords is about a clean slate starting over. If somebody wasn't seeing something or being or something clearly, I feel like there are now, and you're going to be getting some type of download or truth here in some way, shape, or form. It's coming to you. It may just be really brutally honest. It may hurt. The truth hurts. Who I had that on somebody's title before. I don't know if it was Pisces. You could be dealing with the Pisces, but the truth hurts. So, Five of Wands. What's this fighting or what's this conflict about drama? What is this? Five of, five of Wands. Yeah, two of swords here in reverse, moon and Libra. So somebody could want to call, if there was conflict or drama between you and someone, they may want to call a truce. 
this person there can also be like a lot of fighting because both people or whoever's involved are failing to see it's like everybody is um you guys may have two different opinions about something or someone maybe you guys can't get on the same page but this could be something that you're battling within yourself okay or this is with someone just you know take it how it resonates here right um this could be somebody, this could be friends or people around you being two-faced too. two. So be careful. Co-workers, friends, family, whoever the fuck. Neighbors, two of swords in reverse. Yeah, page of wands. A lot of childishness. There's a lot of lack of maturity in the situation. Page of wands, somebody's acting out. This could be a child acting out. Somebody here could be getting into fights. Or somebody's just acting like a fucking child. They're cursing, they're yelling a lot. They're being childish. Somebody's doing things in a hasty manner. Somebody's not thinking clearly. They're not in their right mind. They're not listening to their intuition. They're just acting off of impulse. They're acting out like a child. This could also be bad news, too. Page of wands in reverse. Yeah, the death card, Scorpio energy. Yeah, something is over. Somebody needs to change. Somebody needs to grow the fuck up. Yeah, something. Yeah, somebody's upset about somebody walking away or being left behind. Eight of Cups. What is? I think is this. Nep this is Saturn in Pisces. I think. Or Neptune with Pisces energy. Somebody's needing to emotionally disconnect from something, from the let something go emotionally, move on and detach. Just leave the past in the past. It's time to emotionally release something. The death card, something is over or it needs to be, or something has to change. Something's needing to change here, or somebody's needing to. The death here. This could be you, Scorpio. Nine of Cups in reverse. Jupiter and Pisces. Somebody's faking their happiness. This could be somebody that's arrogant, they're self-indulgent, selfish, greedy. Somebody has to change their ways. Yeah, so there's a death, there's some, the judgment, death and rebirth. There's some type of awakening or some type of ascension that's needed here. Somebody needs to answer the call. Pluto energy. This could be a Sagittarius you're dealing with. I'm getting what? Yeah, Libra or Aries too. What's the Ace of Cups? Yeah, Seven of Pentacles. Some of y'all have been waiting for this. You could have been. Somebody's um, intuitive gifts are growing. Okay, whether you're, it's artistic, artistic gifts, intuitive gifts somebody's feelings for someone or something could be growing again i'm getting a pregnancy somebody here could be seven months pregnant or three and a half months or something like that some of y'all could have been waiting like seven years for something to happen some of y'all are waiting on new love or it's coming but there's some things that have to change within yourself a lot of y'all have to clear out a lot of repressed trauma a lot of y'all have a lot of resentment and bitterness that you have not healed seven of pentacles saturn and taurus this is about investing time money energy into something wanting to uh, getting in a getting a good return on your investment something growing nurturing something waiting divine timing patience Something could be growing, but maybe it's growing slowly. What's the seven of pentacles? Yeah, six of cups. I mean, yeah, some of y'all been waiting for somebody to grow the fuck up. You can, some of y'all have some of y'all have history with this person. You may have a child or kids with them. Six of cups is your energy, Scorpio. You're coming up really heavy. I feel like somebody's coming up short in something too. I wanted to say, but the six of cups is Scorpio sun energy. Six of cups in reverse is some of y'all are just too stuck. Some of y'all looking at your actions or or looking back on some things that you've done or what's been done to you as a child here. Some of y'all could also be getting prepared for pregnancy. I'm getting something growing here. Love, a pregnancy, a baby, a child is growing. Six of cups in reverse could be somebody growing up. This can also be um looking at the past in like a tainted way, like romanticizing. I don't want to say romanticizing toxicity, but you're looking at the past in like a false way. Like, oh, like basically if the past was worse than it, than what you're making it, but you're trying to, you're looking at the past in rose tinted glasses. 
and rose, yeah, rose tinted glasses, pretty much. Somebody's holding on to too many memories here. It's like you can't, and also for a lot of you guys with the Ace of Swords, Ace of Cups, you can't expect anything new to come in if you're too stuck on the past shit and old shit and old people. It's just not going to work. But this is your person. Ace, Six of Cups in reverse. Some of y'all have childhood wounds. Maybe you need to do childhood regression therapy or some therapy for your inner child. I don't know. That comes up a lot in you guys' reading too. Two of Pentacles here, Jupiter and Capricorn. Is somebody pregnant with twins? Or y'all have twins that run in your family or somebody does? What the fuck? Um, the two of pentacles could be kind of going back and forth, um, trying to decide on something, prioritizing. The seven minus two is five of pentacles. So I don't know, this is like abandonment, rejection, somebody in poverty, somebody was like adopted, abandoned, or feeling left behind. I don't know. But the two of pentacles can also be about comparison, juggling. Again, you can't, you can't have the past and the future together. So you're going to have to pick a side. Two of Pentacles. Yeah, Six of Wands here in reverse. Yeah, Jupiter and Leo. Somebody may feel like a failure or something has failed here. This is embarrassed. This is like somebody feeling embarrassed. This can also be jealousy, envy. I feel like there's somebody who doesn't know if they love you or hate you, Scorpio. Like they don't know if they love you or want to support you. Or it's like this could be a friend of yours, somebody that you grew up with. Somebody you have some type of history with, or this could be a past life soulmate that you're coming into contact with. This person may get a lot of attention. Maybe you envy that, okay? Or this is somebody that envies you. Don't take that personal. It is what. Yeah, some of y'all are reconciling with someone. Some of y'all, you are reconciling with somebody. Six of Wands in reverse could be um, somebody trying to ruin your reputation. This could be somebody that you have kids with or your person or you grew up with, went to school with. But somebody could be trying to tarnish somebody's reputation. Well, I feel like something flew on you. What's the Six of Wands in reverse? Yeah, Seven of Wands. Something is being blocked. Is somebody... Mm, yeah, from the Five of Wands to the Six. I feel like somebody doesn't want you to have something. Definitely go check out Taurus's reading, please. That's your sister sign. Check out, always look at your sister sign reading after watching yours. Seven of Wands is about setting boundaries. It's about um, protecting yourself, defending yourself. You may have to defend yourself against like haters or people that are really jealous and envious of you, of what you have. This new love that's coming in, you may have to protect it. Or this baby, this child, or whatever this is that you're growing and nurturing here. Yourself. Something could be um, blocked or, yeah, you, yeah, something is being blocked here. What's the seven of wands? Maybe the, the fear of failure is blocking, is getting in the way of something that you want, okay? Or someone. Seven of wands. Ego and pride could also be getting in the way as well. Seven of wands. Jealousy, envy could be getting in your way too. I feel like Scorpios feel that energy very easily. And y'all don't know, a lot of times y'all don't know how to take, y'all don't know how to admire people and get inspired. A lot of times y'all get jealous and envious. So just be careful with that. Because you can, rather than being in that, you can actually learn from somebody. Seven of Wands. Yeah, Queen of Cups. Some of y'all are trying to protect your feelings or you're trying to protect somebody's feelings or somebody's trying to protect yours. Queen of Cups, air, um, you could be dealing with an Aries, but Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This can also be, um, this is usually Cancer, Gemini, Cusp energy. So some of you guys are trying to protect your feelings or protect your heart. Again, you can't have it both ways. A protected heart is not an open heart. An open heart is, is not receptive to love, abundance, Wealth, none of that. So the world card, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo. So some of y'all are going through a Saturn return or you're closing out cycles. You're accomplishing something. 
regardless of this fear of failure, I feel like something is still going to be a success. It's just going to happen in divine timing. It could happen this summer or by Sag season. You can be done with the Sagittarius or a Leo. What's Cupid's arrow? Have faith. Like we have that in your chart. Um, Cupid's arrow. Have faith. Love is coming. Surprise invitation or meeting. Hesitation. What's Cupid's arrow? Some of y'all need to figure out what you want. Um, King of Wands here. Air with Leo Sagittarius energy. This is specifically Leo Cancer cusp energy. I see Scorpio when I see the King of Wands, but the Knight of Wands is Sag, Scorpio energy. But I also get Sag here with the King of Wands. Man or woman, I don't know why. But um, you have a fire sign or somebody that has fire in their chart, or they just, they don't, they could be an earth sign, a water sign, an air sign. They come, they're coming up as a fire, a, they're coming up as this King of Wands. Man or woman, or this is you. All right. Let's just keep this arrow. This person is going to be taking action towards you. So this could be somebody new for some of y'all. Y'all may have a choice between two. Ten of Pentacles. You may have kids with this person or, or married to them or they're married or something. You could meet them through family. Ten of Pentacles, Mercury, and Virgo. Yeah, this is building generational so you have new love coming in you guys are going to be building generational wealth with this person the king of wands is a leader they're confident this person could be foreign they could be biracial or mixed here okay um they may have some type of like i'm getting a indian or like a native american heritage or background for some of y'all or some something foreign but anyways Indigenous, I think that, I think I'm saying it right. But this new love that's coming in, this person's gonna take action. They're gonna protect for, protect you. You guys may end up having or building a business together. This could be somebody you know already. For some of you guys, it's somebody completely new, right? But you guys are gonna be building this again, this generational wealth together. You're not meant to do this alone. You're not going to be doing it alone. You could be doing it alone right now, or with the or with the wrong person, or I don't know. But I feel like you're going to you're meant to have this ten of pentacles, ten of cups. Is maybe the, the right intention, wrong person, maybe. Keep it's arrow. Like maybe your intentions for it is right, but maybe you're trying to do it with the wrong person right now. We'll see. Keep it's arrow. Yeah, nine of swords here. Mars in Gemini. So somebody's feeling stressed out, anxious. Somebody's not, somebody's, un, so this could be somebody that you know already for some of y'all. Well, this, I don't know if this is used, this, somebody can have so anxiety about something. That somebody is waking up out of bed. They can't sleep. They're staying up late at night. Somebody sees this family dynamic with you or this commitment with you. They could have, I don't know, we'll see. They could have been non-committal or, I don't know. But the nine of swords is somebody stressed out. What's this king of wands? Or this is you stressed out. He has six of swords here in reverse. So you could be seeing 666. Taurus has 666. So definitely check out Taurus's reading. It's your sister sign. Whether you have Taurus in your chart or not. Whether you're dealing with somebody that does or not. Check out Taurus's reading. Okay. So you got 666 like them. So six of swords, six of cups, um, six of wands here. Somebody could be wanting to return to you so this could be somebody that you know okay this could be happening within a few weeks or yeah a few weeks six weeks or 12 weeks could be a few yeah maybe a few months for some of y'all six of swords in reverse somebody is also you could be dealing with somebody that's that that's carrying around past baggage or this is you from family childhood whatever past life somebody's carrying around baggage six of swords in reverse yeah the emperor this could be aries energy this could be somebody that you have this could be the father of your kids or your father or this could be you and this masculine energy here yeah somebody's wanting to come back take action maybe um take accountability become more responsible or somebody's needing to. What's this emperor here? Yeah, king of cups in reverse. Um, Scorpio, Libra energy. 
Somebody could be an October Scorpio or Libra. Um, you know, the king of so some of y'all could have had a so either you or your person had a father figure that maybe they were absent or maybe they were present, but they were just emotionally absent. Somebody was emotionally absent from something or they experienced this. You got the king and queen of cups here, so there's definitely a true pair here. My thing is, this is when I see one per because the Queen of Cups is upright, the King of Cups is in reverse. So this tells me that something you guys are not on the same page. One person is available and open, the other person is closed off because the King of Cups is somebody that is emotionally unavailable. This person could even be already taken, married, okay? Um, they're just not available. Whether it's physically, emotionally, they just... They're, they're, they're not it. So again, this could be somebody that you have kids with, somebody that you were married to, or your person, or whatever. Somebody is just they're not on the same page. Somebody could have been abused also by a father figure as a child. And that could be something that somebody's carrying around, or somebody not having a, a, a emotionally present parent or parents that could have affected someone as well. But this is you. You could have grown up with an abusive, so maybe you had a step parent, <clears throat> or your person did, or again, this could be your, it could be a woman too. I'm getting masculine energy though. So this could have been somebody's stepfather, grandfather, uncle, who could have been really like abusive, physically, sexually, emotionally, verbally, okay, that somebody is still carrying those wounds. And there, this, there could be somebody here that's in a very distorted masculine energy, man or a woman, all right? So king of cups in reverse. Yeah, somebody here could be healing. They could be sick, even. Jupiter and Libra with the four swords. Somebody, you could be on a break from this person or needing, taking space. I'm also getting somebody's intuition could be blocked. And if that's the case, it's time for you to go. It's time for you to get into a meditative state. Start meditating more. Okay. Somebody here also may need more structure more discipline in something more emotional discipline or yeah somebody may also get more rest i feel like the lack of rest could be fucking with somebody's intuition here um what's the ten of pentacles yeah four of cups in reverse moon and cancer so somebody could be emotionally i feel like somebody's emotionally withdrawn from a situation a marriage a partnership a job this could be you or your person or something here Four of Cups is being withdrawn. Somebody could be feeling apathetic, disinterested in something. Excessive daydreaming. It's like something could have, an opportunity could have been missed. What's this Four of Cups in reverse? The strength in reverse. That could be cowardness, vulnerability, insecurity, pride, ego. Four of Cups in reverse. Yeah, the temperance here. Sagittarius energy. I don't know, did somebody reject your offer? I feel like somebody could, somebody's waiting. Again, some of y'all are waiting for somebody to grow up or, but I don't know. Y'all are waiting for, y'all been waiting for, the tempers could be about pace, um, patience, being very tranquil, uh, you know, like you're even tempered, you're being called to be patient or to be this way. I feel like, I, you won't miss what's for you, Scorpio, okay? That's my best way I can put it. You won't miss what's for you. Temperance here. Something, everything will happen in divine timing. You're not going to miss what's for you. Cupid doesn't miss. Magician. Virgo, Gemini, energy. Okay. Hmm. All right. Virgo, Gemini here with the magician. So this could be negative influences. You know, the magician is as above, so below. So if you're thinking the worst, that's what everybody is you pushed out. So if you're thinking or assuming the worst, that's what you're going to receive. Okay. The, the magician could be manipulation. It could be spell work. This. The Ten of Pentacles is longevity, stability. What's this magician here? Oh, the moon. Cancer, Pisces energy. Yeah, I can't. Yes. It, yep, 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 yep. <sighs> yeah, these bitches is under the moons and shit doing stuff. Or it's a person. Or this is you. 
it could be you i also feel like somebody's subconscious influences someone really poorly this could be fear of the unknown fear what you don't see you're gonna have to trust in divine timing stop trying to manipulate situations stop trying to influence them behind the scenes here or somebody's trying to influence something behind the scenes that is protected or it's not gonna work the moon here I feel like some of you guys, you mean well, but you may not always act in that way with the Queen of Cups and Upright and the King of Cups in reverse. Some of you guys mean well, but you don't, sometimes it's, it's you don't really act like you do. Moon here or somebody, yeah, Knight of Wands here. Okay, okay, okay. Knight of Wands, Sagittarius, Scorpio energy. Somebody could be a November Sag or a Scorpio. I'm getting somebody doing spell work to get somebody to lose their attraction to you or to get you to lose your attraction to someone. So this could be sex magic or somebody's using, um, somebody's a, a player, they're arrogant, they're a cheater. They could have been manipulating things behind the scenes or doing whatever behind the scenes, but this is you. Somebody could be doing spell work or love spells on someone here. It could be somebody that you've been with for a while or your person. Child, what the fuck? The Nine of Wands is losing passion for something. Somebody that takes bad risk. Uh, they're arrogant. They're a player. They're inconsistent. Lacking passion, really. Somebody could also have... This could be, I don't know, one night stand. This could also be... Um, what's this Nine of Wands in reverse? Yeah, the strength card in reverse. Leo energy. Somebody lacks willpower, self-control. They, they lack courage. This is um, pride. Somebody could be also feeling vulnerable here. So somebody's using that energy to kind of, or using that to fuck with the energies here. Yeah, this could be somebody's insecure too. Somebody could be insecure about like their manhood or their, you know, whatever. Nine of Swords here. I don't know. Somebody, there's a lack of, I don't know, something. Somebody doing something, manipulating the energies behind the scenes. Somebody's losing control or somebody's trying to control something or someone doing magic, manipulation. Or somebody playing on somebody's fear and insecurities here. This could be somebody in their family or somebody that they have kids with or this is you. Or nine of swords here. What the fuck did I say? Look at this bullshit here. Five of, five of swords here. Venus and Aquarius. Yeah, mind games, manipulation, pettiness. Somebody trying to play with somebody's head. This is pettiness, petty arguments. Somebody is somebody's trying to stress somebody else. Somebody's doing chaos magic. Somebody may have a hard time sleeping. They could be having migraines, headaches. That's how you'll know you have spell work on you. You're getting cramps or just weird shit in your bodies, your nerves. You may feel like everything is getting on your nerves. You may be feeling on edge. Yeah, five of swords here. This is, yeah, pettiness. Conflict, miscommunication. Somebody regrets what they did or said. Five of swords here. They can't fucking take it back now. Yeah, four of wands. This could be somebody in your family or your person's family that's doing this. Or maybe you're doing this to somebody in your family. I don't know. Take it out where it resonates. You could be seeing 444. Sagittarius got 444. So you can have Sag in your chart. Be dealing with one. Go check out Sagittarius as well. Like I said, if you have Sag as your Venus sign, your moon or rising, check out Sag. Or if you're dealing with the Sagittarius. But four wands, Venus, and Aries. This is somebody in someone's family or in your neighborhood who lives near you. They could spy on you, watch you. Somebody could be doing like playing noise or music on purpose so you can so to keep you up. Or I don't know. I feel like somebody's just doing a lot of petty shit here. The four wands is home. It's about being in alignment. This could be the, the four wands could be twin flames too. What's the four wands? could be jealousy too somebody in your family is jealous or what's this or jealous of this connection you have with someone something is meant to come together 
Maybe you don't know how something's going to come together. Try not to self-sabotage just out of fear and anxiety by trying to overly control the person or situation because you may end up sabotaging it or causing more conflict to it. Four months. Yeah, King of Pentacles, Taurus energy. Check out Taurus's reading, please. Taurus, Aries energy. Mm, what's this King of Pentacles? Definitely stability. Yeah, Will of Fortune. Jupiter energy, Sagittarius. You could also be dealing with an Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, or Leo. So somebody's luck is turning around or fortune. Something is going in your favor. I was about to say Aquarius and Sag, but Scorpio, something is going in your favor. It may it it, ha, it may have something to do with timing, right? Because this could be timing. Something is something is faded and destined. You're probably I think you're meant to be with like a, a Taurus or an Aries here. Or they have that in their chart. They, they may have that in their chart somewhere. Okay. They may have that somewhere in their chart. But something is fading and destined here. Yeah, page of swords. This could be gossip here. Spell work, evil eye. What's this wheel of fortune? Something is destined and faded to happen. Wheel of fortune. Yeah, the devil energy. Capricorn. Something is karmic. Mm, so there's something karmic here so either somebody that you're currently dealing with is very karmic scorpio or you have this that you have this is what's coming in this could be an earth sign Taurus, virgo capricorn specifically a capricorn or a well or the earth sign to here yeah so it could be an earth sign here or sag cancer pisces aquarius um leo Yeah, some of y'all have a contract with somebody. Some of you guys are meant to, like, build something with someone here. Hold on. What's this devil here? Some of y'all are going to be getting married to this person. Yeah, Virgo here. Somebody could be wanting to come out of um, hermit here. Somebody could be coming out of hermit mode. Somebody could be scared. They're fearful. Maybe something, something is too intense for somebody. They could be trying to avoid this here. Yeah, some of y'all, somebody here could already be married or y'all are meant to marry. Something is destined and faded. But I what's this devil here? Let me get another. What's this? Something, what's the devil? Because the devil, what's this? Devil? I, don't, I don't really know how I feel about that. Something is very karmic. Okay, Six of Pentacles, Moon and Taurus. So, okay, so mm, now I see. So this could be codependency, um, abuse of power, control, manipulation. Somebody, yeah, something could be very transactional. Uh, this could be with like strings, gifts or money or whatever, something with strings attached. So be careful with any, be careful with people like that or contracts like that, work contracts. Okay. Yeah, somebody six of pen. Somebody here could be non-committal though, or something's a dead end. Something is one-sided. Maybe what's this? But there's a it's something with there's codependency here. Heavy codependency. Six of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, queen of pentacles in reverse. Capricorn, heavy Capricorn here. Capricorn and Sag is here, heavy. Yeah, somebody's just, somebody, oh, somebody wants to marry for money. Somebody's marrying for money for, like, the image or looks of something. Somebody's very material, oh, the nine of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, somebody, child, somebody could be going through some type of legalities. The justice here, Libra energy, the tower, Aries, Scorpio, the page of swords is air sign energy, and the nine of pentacles is Venus and Virgo. Somebody here could be trying to avoid some type of disaster legally here or some type of karma. Yeah, this could be spell work. 
This could be evil lying, a liar, a player, somebody that is not, they 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 bring they bring false information. They they're not, they stretch the truth. Somebody's very materialistic, they're vain, they're superficial, they spend beyond their means, they're not good with money. They spend what they don't have. They 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 they, they like to keep up with an image. Somebody's very codependent, financially codependent, materially codependent, emotionally. Yeah, this is somebody, yeah, somebody got married to a gold digger, or they are. So you need to be careful of this, or yeah, or somebody does. Somebody's very, and this is spell work too. Somebody's constantly doing spell work to get something to go in their favor, or to get somebody to continue to give to them. This could be energetically, financially, materially here. Somebody's energy harvesting, I feel like. Yeah, the Queen of Pentacles is a, is a dark witch. They do root work. This could be an earth sign, Taurus work, or Capricorn, heavy Capricorn here. Somebody does earth magic, but it's like root work. They like to bury shit here, and, and they like to put things in the floor. You know, they like to do weird, put shit, hide shit. This could, I don't know, this could be you, or this is what somebody's dealing with here. That could be how they, uh, child. Somebody's also disloyal, they're a cheater. Again, money hungry, greedy, they're sloppy, they're messy. They're not a good mother or father, or they didn't have one. Child, what's Mara? What's this queen of pentacles in reverse real quick? Hold on. Yeah, eight of wands. You could be seeing eight, 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 eight of wands, eight of swords here. Um, is eight of cups out here or no? I don't know, my bad, but Eight of Wands. Mercury and Sagittarius. Yeah, expect communication from this gold digging ass person or this. Yeah. Because the King of Pentacles is upright, but the Queen of Pentacles is in reverse. So, and also, if it's not that, also, some of you guys are just very codependent. Some of y'all just give too much of yourself. Some of you guys, um, there's a lot of self neglection going on here. You may have a lot coming at you and you could be neglecting yourself. So take care. Make sure your home is clean. Make sure you're not letting yourself go and stuff like that. That could be what that is too. The eight of wands is communication, travel, growth, something happening fast. What's this eight of wands real quick? Somebody could also be a scammer though too. But Somebody could also be having sex for money too. But ten of swords in reverse. This is... Yeah, the worst part of something is over. Four of Pentacles, save your money. You could be seeing 10, 10, 10, 10 of Cups, 10 of Pentacles, 10 of Swords. Okay, uh, Sagittarius had 10, 10, 10, and so did Taurus. So check out Sag and Taurus. Four of Pentacles is Capricorn, possession, control. Somebody's trying to hide or keep something from you. Or this is you. This is somebody that's closed off. They could be hoarding something, keeping something to themselves stingy penny pinching yeah what's mara or oh, they're dealing with someone like this there's going to be some type of communication that kind of is like okay the worst of something is over you i don't know mara let me get my baby hold on uh scorpio Yeah, there's going to be some type of communication or, yeah, I feel like y'all are leaving something behind or leaving somebody behind. 
here. Something is going on, Scorpio. But it's going to help you come to a place of acceptance. Or, yeah. Some of y'all give, you overcompensate and give too much of your energy, your money, your time, or your body to people or something or someone. What's narrow? Yeah, the tower. So I feel like somebody's trying to avoid looking at themselves or avoid some type of disaster that's going to happen anyway. This could be bad karma with the justice here in reverse, Libra energy, some type of legalities or something that just wasn't fair. Mara. Or somebody could be getting triggered. What's Mara? Yeah, two of cups. You could be seeing two, two, two. Gemini had two, two, two. Two of pentacles. Two of Swords, Two of Cups, Venus and Cancer. There's something about a connection that's very triggering for you and this person. Okay? You guys, one of you guys could be like, um, you're, one of you, you guys can have different attachment styles. Like somebody's avoidant attachment, attached, and somebody could be um, anxious attachment. So... Hold on. Let me give my baby some water. Hold on. And you know what's funny? Um, go check out Taurus's reading, please, because it was a lot of inter it was a lot of interruptions for Nova and Taurus's reading too. I didn't have that in the other readings. So again, Taurus is your sister sign. Check out Taurus's reading. There's something. There's a relationship or friendship. This could be same sex for some of you, but some yeah. This is there's mutual feelings here, but something could be mutually triggering for both of you guys. Okay, yeah. Mara. Yeah, Five of Cups, sadness, Mars and Scorpio, grief, regret. Is the fives out here? Yeah, you could be seeing five, 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 five of Wands, five of Swords, uh, five of Cups. Gemini have five, five, five. So if you're dealing with the Gemini, have Gemini placements or your person does, go check out Gemini's reading. But there's something, yeah. There's sad, man. Yeah, what's this tower in reverse? Yeah, the judgment. So, um, I feel like somebody's not awakened or somebody is just. Yeah. Y'all are mirroring each other, you and someone. This could be, this judgment could be, ju um, somebody could be fearing, bless you, baby. Somebody may be fearing harsh judgment. Um, this is a need to forgive. This could be resentment. Self-doubt here. Yeah, the, 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 here, um, the high, the, um, hangman stubborn negative patterns on repeat somebody's not willing to surrender or maybe both of you judgment in reverse yeah the hero fawn in reverse taurus energy yeah there's lessons that aren't being learned here somebody's not awakening to what they're supposed to be doing or learning here This could be um, outdated beliefs about love or about yourselves that are outdated that's holding you guys back here. This can, I'm also getting abuse of power too, though, with all this, these, yeah, what's this hair on the reverse? This could also be a divorce too. Yeah, three of cups. Reconciling, reconciling, this could be like corrupted. This could be corrupt friends. This could be somebody that's, not, there can also be some, both of you guys could be non-committal. I feel like both of y'all having, the, the three of cups is Mercury and Cancer. Both of you guys, both mirror back this non-committal energy. I feel like both of you guys may mirror back some non-committal energy with each other. To be honest, Scorpio, it's you and your person or you, maybe you attract people where both of you, 
you, you know, both of you guys behave this way. Three of Cups is like a very casual thing paired with their hair, their, um, their hair found in reverse. Their hair found in reverse is a non-committal energy. Some of y'all, maybe you're meant to have an open relationship or an open marriage or somebody's in one. I don't know. But what's the Two of Cups? What's the Two of Cups? But something is non-conventional or maybe it goes against, maybe you're doing something a bet, against your better judgment because you want to keep this person around or what's this two of cups yeah three of swords here there's three of pentacles out here sorry guys i like my number synchronicities i'm sticking with that right baby yes mm, okay Hi, baby, so see. Um, three of swords, yeah, this is repressed trauma, block, yeah. Recon I'm getting heavy reconciliation for some of you. Heavy reconciliation, though, but this, I don't know, what's this three of swords in reverse? Ten of wands in reverse. You're going to have to release any past baggage, you and this person, or energies, or I feel like some of y'all are carrying, somebody here is like burnt out from this trauma, this grief. Both of you guys are ca energetically carrying around stuff. Ten of Wands in reverse. It's time to put it down. It's time to put down whatever you guys put each other through or have gone through individually, separately. It's time to put that down. Ten of Wands here in reverse. Yeah, the lovers in reverse. This could be Gemini energy. This could be a choice between more than one person or thing. This is about, this could be sexuality as well. That could be a thing too. Um, I'm also getting um, lies, disharmony. Hi, baby. Why is the lovers in reverse? Yeah, because stuff, yeah, Pisces energy. Re negative patterns on repeat. Somebody's refusing to surrender and let go, and yeah. Somebody could also be refusing to surrender to something in regards to their sexuality, too. I'm getting that's for some of you guys. You or your person. I don't know. Somebody is stalling or yeah, I'm just what's this five of cups? Seven of swords here in reverse. You could be seeing seven, seven, seven. Sagittarius and Gemini had that. You have the most synchronicities. I feel like somebody's ignoring all the signs here. I feel like somebody's ignoring all the signs. Y'all have the most synchronicities so far. I feel like y'all, the signs are here and y'all are ignoring it. Maybe because of pleasure, for fun, or whatever this is. Seven of Swords is somebody wanting to call the truce. Okay, somebody could be, somebody could regret getting caught doing something or whatever. Again, the seven of swords never gets away with stuff. Yeah, high priestess, you're very intuitive. You know something. Some of you guys could be tarot readers yourselves, okay? Or you watch tarot. What's the seven of swords in reverse? Somebody, yeah, somebody's in regret getting, yeah, queen of wands. Somebody, yeah, this could have been another, another person. The king and queen of wands are out here. So, Queen of Wands is Aries, uh, Pisces energy. Could be a Sagittarius or a Leo as well, but particularly Aries, Pisces. What's this Queen of Wands about? Yeah, the sun here, heavy Leo energy. Yeah, I feel like somebody regrets maybe being in their ego. Or, yeah, somebody's just... What's the sun in reverse? Yeah, seven of cups. Say somebody was, yeah, somebody is just fantasized. Somebody's just in some type of illusion or delusional. Venus and, uh, I just heard Venus and Gemini, but Venus and um, fucking Scorpio here. And the seven of swords is moon and Aquarius. The Queen of Wands is usually very sexy, magnetic, attractive. Somebody here could be biracial, foreign, or mixed, a model. Somebody could have been doing glamour spells or glamour magic or something like that. Somebody's not, what's the seven of, 
cups in reverse because something was a miss. Something was a missed opportunity. Seven of cups. Somebody didn't see something. Yeah, the fool card. Aquarius. Somebody could have just took a leap of faith. Somebody wasn't in their right mind. Aquarius, Capricorn energy. The page of cups in reverse. Somebody wasn't listening to the intuition or their inner voice. Yeah, and something could be going on about like a child or fear, abandonment, lack of lacking accountability, avoiding accountability here. Somebody's um the king. The king and queen of swords are both in reverse. So this could be just you or just one person um, just suppressing a lot of emotions or feeling oppressed. Lying, not being honest, not accepting the truth, not wanting to see it. Somebody could be having eye issues with their eyesight as well. But the full card Aquarius energy is wanting to break free. Um, somebody could have jumped into something without really looking, without paying attention to the yeah let's let's get some chakra messages what's the fool real quick because somebody was in their ego they didn't and they weren't yeah the fool hold on baby the fool yeah somebody there be okay somebody yeah somebody didn't look at yeah somebody wasn't in their right mind their judgment was off their judgment could have been cloudy it could have been spell work manipulation addictions um something i'm also getting um somebody didn't look at something closely they didn't do their investigation they didn't do their due diligence and somebody's in regret now let's let's get some chakra messages somebody didn't look at something properly they didn't, it's like somebody didn't, somebody just wanted to just enjoy what felt good or looked good or who looked good. They didn't want to, somebody didn't want to see the truth on purpose. They didn't want to burst their bubble or, yeah, something. Yeah, worried mind. Somebody's worried about something. Okay, we have difficulty seeing the big picture in life. Yeah, somebody's very with the with the hangman. Somebody's very closed minded. They're stubborn. They only know how to. They're one track minded. They can only see something one way. Somebody's refusing to see something for what it is. Somebody doesn't want to look at themselves in the mirror. They're lacking accountability. They they're unable to self reflect, or they don't want to. Feeling insignificant. Inability to cope with changes. Somebody can't cope with change resentment we spoke about that earlier living a lie clearly anxiety and mentally overwhelmed yep indecisive uh overly analytical somebody could be judgmental overly critical overly analytical looking too closely to where they missed the bigger picture somebody could be looking too much at the details of things not the bigger picture so they could have missed a big step or whatever you got third somebody's third eye is blocked so again, somebody could be having issues with their vision, their actual eyesight, or their intuition. Somebody's perception is off. Okay? We got third eye chakra, intuition, vision, perception. The crystals are labradorite, fluorite, lapis lazuli. Uh, the element is light. Um, Archangel Raphael, it says, I trust my intuition and I see beyond the illusions. The seven of cups is illusions. It's like the seven deadly sins. It's the fantasy. Somebody's just in a little, ha, la, 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 in la, la land. Somebody's in fucking la, la land. In la, la land. And then I know somebody got ghosted or I don't fucking know. Anyway, somebody's in la, la land. I want to see what this Herman is real quick. But yeah, again, I trust my intuition and I see beyond the illusion. Somebody's ego pride. Somebody is overly optimistic. They, somebody could be very overly naive. Somebody hasn't really grown up. It's like they still have that naiveness, which is not a bad thing. But I think somebody is just stupid. I'm not going to lie to you. Somebody is so naive. They lie to themselves on purpose. Just if as long as they're going to feel good, if this person will lie to themselves. And that's very unhealthy. Because now I feel like you got to wait, unawaken. Hold on, Scorpio. Somebody could be a firefighter or work for EMT, trucking, tra uh, transit or transportation or something. But we got unawakened and feeling lost. Yeah, with the judgment in reverse, we clearly see that. The hangman is all about crown chakra awakening. Somebody is just, yeah, not that. Feeling fatigue, okay, and root chakra. 
Sagittarius just got this. It says um, safety, stability, survival, security, red jasper, ruby, hematite. The element is earth. Archangel Gabriel, it says, I am supported, safe, and secure, and I have a right to be here. Again, it says, I am supported, safe, and secure, and I have a right to be here. So this, again, somebody here is just very la da la 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 They lie to themselves. They're in denial. They don't want to see things for what it is. This could be you. Somebody's been, uh, what's this, Herman in reverse? Yeah, now somebody's going to end up in this fucking ten of swords. Backstab, betrayed, and hurt again. Again. All because of sex. Thinking with their penis, vagina. Somebody here could even have an STD or be sick. Okay, or just... Somebody's unable to manifest. They have a party trick in mindset. Somebody could be hiding that they're sick or something here. Yeah, Nine of Wands, Moon and Sagittarius. I can't make it up. Somebody's going to get backstabbed again for not doing their due diligence, not wanting to see the truth. Just not. Somebody's just not in a clear mind. Somebody could, somebody could be blind or going blind or just blind. Like somebody just doesn't want to, somebody doesn't like reality. Somebody just avoids it at all costs. They avoid it like the plague. It's like, wake the fuck up. I don't know. This reading pissed me off just like Sagittarius' reading pissed me off. Somebody is very naive. Somebody is just, somebody needs to do a lot of inner childhood wounds. Somebody could have suffered a lot emotionally as a child. So they just, they as an adult, they don't want to be boggled down with nothing. They want to be, I'm free. I'm a free spirit. No, nothing's going to tie me down. Nothing's going to make me sad and, and, and whatever. No, no, no. I'm in my own bubble. I'm in my own world. I'm apathetic to everything. I don't see nothing. I just, I'm, I only care about fantasy and what makes me feel good and La 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 la, and there, and again, face down. Somebody could also be assuming the worst, or, or think somebody could all this could be also pessimism. Actually, it could be pessimism, somebody thinking and conjuring up the worst because they're afraid of the unknown. That could be it, too. So, you know which side you're on, either moderate. You don't want to be too overly, you don't want to be too naive, and you don't want to be super pessimistic. and I'm a realist, so you, you know, pick what side you're on and deal with and fix it. Moderate it, get it balanced. So this was your reading, Scorpio. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.